I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the use of the active tense versus the passive tense. Passive tenses are what it sounds like. They're they just kind of lie there. <laughs> Sometimes you need them. There's times when you're explaining something or possibly the, the action being performed it isn't as important who's performing the action as the action itself. But in general, the use of the passive robs verbs of their power. Also, it inverts the who did what to whom relationship, which makes it a little confusing to follow. And also, it can sound pretty impersonal and stilted and needlessly formal, which is something you're probably familiar with with textbooks or any kind of technical writing. So, give you an example of a passive sentence would be, I was bitten by the parrot. And the active would be, the parrot bit me. Now, you could substitute a tiger or possibly a baby. I was bitten by the baby. The baby bit me. So when you use the passive, it doesn't identify who or what is performing the action. And you also have to use some form of to be, which is a verb that kind of adds wordiness to your writing. If you overuse the passive construction, it really robs the sentences of their power. So, do you know, just to break it down, an active sentence, you know that somebody is doing something to someone else. And then a passive is somebody is having something done to him by someone else. And then the super passive, if someone is having something done to him by someone who isn't identified. In general, active is to be preferred, but again, you can't write necessarily everything in the active construction. Sometimes things need a little more explanation, sometimes it's a style choice. But if you're rereading a draft of your own and it seems boring and passive, <laughs> it probably is. And also if you're reading a technical manual or a, possibly like a history book, if, it, if you're having a hard time taking in the information and or just reading it, that probably means the writer used too much of the passive tense. So when you go through one of your drafts of an essay, your college essay or a letter, when I'm working on something, when I'm editing something, if you feel that it's kind of like walking through sand, wet sand, it probably is overusing the passive tense. So there's more information on my website, theteachersway.com, and also in my book, How to Write a Successful College Admission Essay. And I would love to hear from you. Sign up on my website, theteachersway.com, and I'll be making more of these to, to help clarify some of the writing issues that tend to come up most frequently.